Mm. Hey, what up, guys? It's your boy Amir. You already know. And yes, that was the Super Mario Brothers theme. I just uh, trumpeted in my mouth. If you can even call that a trumpet. Uh, I don't know if I can. <laughs> I can't do trumpets. I'm more like an though. Uh, anyway, let's uh, not bore you. I wonder what would happen if this, if the divine dragon came to this forest. We would fight it with our magic, but probably we would fail given our current level of power. Power level, huh? With the ancestor. I mean, but the ancestor said that we won't become extinct if we cooperate with other species. Other species? Are you talking about humans? That's right. But I wonder if everyone in the forest can understand that. Including me. Oh, what is that? The seal! Ha! Meru! The humans? Meru brought humans here! I'm going to let the answers know. Go ahead. Stitches get stitches, bitch. You're getting yours. You're getting all, oh, man. Let me get my brass knuckles ready, son. I'm getting my cestus, nigga. I'm about to fuck you up, man. I'm about to crack your skull right now. Don't shoot. They are my friends. We are not here to fight. We are here to borrow the dragon blocks. And oh, what ire. What nerve. What steel. Oh, man. The dragon block staff? Man, Dart, you're the greatest. Where how dare you speak about our secrets? We already knew about it. <laughs> but the divine dragon is now awake. But, 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 what can humans do? They cannot even use magic. We can, we're dragons, motherfucker. Should we break through? No, what is your problem, man? How are we gonna break through? We're supposed to gain their trust, not like fuck up the relationship between humans and these people even more. Come on, use your head. We have to take some action or everything may be destroyed. That includes the forest of Wimbledon and human cities. Yeah, you guys seem to understand now. Now let us talk to your ancestor. Everyone, hold on. The ancestor says he will meet with the humans. Well time, man. You, please don't agitate the people in the forest. We're not used to seeing humans. But watch out for the Bartle brothers. What do you mean? Well, they're gonna be our main enemies, I can see. Let's go, Dark. The ancestor Blano is in the back of the forest. Let's see what's down here first. The little mystic spring, isn't it? Ah, such a lovely view. Look at that. Simply amazing. Anyway, there are two starters in this place. Uh, I'll try to show them. It's the best of my buddies. Anyway, let's go over here. This place in this teleport is, man, I tell you. Anyway, a lot of these people here, like the way that you travel, some people like take you up. This place has like a lot of levels. Kind of interesting, really. So, so you're the humans. This is the first time I've seen one. It's nice, right? It's nice to see someone different in your own kind, isn't it? This forest does not welcome humans. Some, some even have murderous intentions toward humans, like the Marvel Brothers. Well, let them come. I'll punch them niggas in the dicks. No, that's mad gay. I'll kick them in the. Oh, that's still kind of. I'll punch them niggas in the skull. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> it's an order of the ancestor. I'll carry you in the back. Uh, not yet. Let's save first. All right. Now we finish. Let's go on. Yes, we want to go, please. Yep. See, this place has a couple of levels. Uh, there are a couple of houses here we can visit. Uh, some mainly uh, are just like residential people. Uh, let's see. This place is kind of interesting, really. It reminds me a lot of Star Ocean in a way. And the story with the whole uh, Divine Dragon also reminds me just a tiny, tiny bit of Bang titles. But see, a lot of these stories are connected because they use a couple of the same themes. But uh, yeah, uh, we respect the intentions of the ancestors. If the ancestors trust in you, we trust you too. See, th see, that's not so hard to ask for. A little consistency is all we want. Green water is flowing in the wall. Water. Oh no, I didn't mean to do that yet. Oh, not yet. Not yet. I don't want to do that just yet. Uh, yeah, see, that's, that's a problem. That's a problem. Yes. Kind of interesting how the way they work. It kind of reminds me of Minecraft in a way. 
Uh, even though this game is older than Minecraft, but you know how in Minecraft you have the water you can like sink through and shit? Kinda reminds me of that, in a way. I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about, but yeah. Uh, no, we don't want to go there just yet. Let's talk to Meru's parents. Father, mother, I'm home. That despicable father of yours. Get him out of my sight before I punch him. Meru, do you realize what you're doing? So, they are the humans who have deluded you. Don't talk bad about my friends. Slap you. Meru! I'm still me. I want to protect everyone in the forest my own way. With, with Dart and friends. And my boys. And my other pals. <laughs> the answers of believe Meru is I want the humans to pass through here. You have to believe Meru too. What kind of father are you, man? Humans over there? Oh, humans over there. The dragon is supposed to be your ally. Wingleys and humans are enemies. Why are you trying to defeat the dragon with us? <laughs> the dragon campaign has been over for more than 10,000 years. Okay, motherfucker? So get over it. Besides, there is no reason for our two species to fight each other, is there? No need to hold grudges. <laughs> Honey, our ideas may be too old. Hey, yeah. I, th I would say so. Please take care of Meryl. Will do. You don't need to say such a thing. I'm the one taking care of them. <laughs> oh, Meryl. <laughs> Is taking care of me? Yup. Who? Darn everyone. The <laughs> troops. I assume there is no time for this. He is right, Meryl. Let's go, go, let's go, let's get going to the answer. So, okay, you're right. Man, I get tongue tied so easily. Your father talks harshly to you, but actually, he's happy to see your face. Yeah, I doubt it. Nah, I'm playing. I know he cares, but he's just so stupid. Why would you do that? Besides, he likes starting friends. Don't be yapping about silly things and just go see the ancestor. Okay, I will. I think it's piss. If I, were, if I was your wife, I wouldn't say anything. Your mother's right. Seeing you makes me feel relieved. You are living in your own way. Of course, I'm your daughter. I think about it. Bye now. Huh. <laughs> in unison. Without using the stone, you cannot use magic or fly. Humans are such weaklings. Uh, we'll see how weak I am when I punch your ass in the face. Then we'll see who's weak. It'll be you. Anyway, let's go over here. Uh, let's see here. It was that. Was that it? Or uh, no, no. Uh, should I have come here? Let me talk to this guy. You cannot use magic. You cannot even fly. It must be very inconvenient, isn't it? Well, I can hold my breath in the water for a long time. <laughs> can you do that? The room upstairs is for recovering your health. Please feel free to use it. It is an order of, it is an order from the ancestor. Well, I don't care. Okay. Lennis, she's not with me from this far as oh I'm gonna have to edit that part out or something, I don't know. Or maybe just keep it for kicks. Lennis, a Wimley who we don't know. I thought we were the last of the Wimleys. Damn! Holy shit. What a bra. What do you what it is? What you want? Bardo! Are you bothering us again? Elder Bardo. The divine dragon can be taken care of by us without asking the humans for help. Besides, we have no business talking to a betrayer who ran off to humans. What happened to you? The Bardo I knew was much kinder. It wasn't like that. I my baby sister was killed by a human. Oh no? It's not a question. It's an exclamation. My baby sister was influenced by you, Meru, and left the forest, believing that the outside world was wonderful. We don't need humans' help. Do you have something else to say? Get out. There might be more people killed now. Good for you. It's a chance to learn how helpless you humans are. But we Wigglies won't die. Our magic power just passes the dragons. Is you are strong, huh? Don't make me laugh. I wonder if you haven't even noticed. If you have noticed, you are declining because you cling to the glory of the past. What are you babbling about? You can barely fly, and that's about it, right? 
Maybe you won't think that way after this. Stop. You don't want to mess with us, my nigga. Huh? No way. Is this the legendary dragoon? Please, let us take care of the divine dragon. I'll come back to take care of your baby sisters as matter after my journey has ended. So please trust us for now. <laughs> the ones who flaunt their power disappear when the truly powerful appear. I'm going ahead. Epic lines right there. Epic! That's why I love her all so much. She's just so badass. If we cannot even have revenge for our baby sister anymore, the Divine Dragon cannot be. I feel weak in my knees. I cannot move. Is this real? Ugh! You wimp. Brother! How dare you humans! Just because you are afraid of our magic power, you are sending the destroyers of old dragoons at us? Silly humans, I'll pass sentence to the sin of killing my sister. I'll annihilate them now. Why did he punch his brother? What a fool. We don't want to go there just yet, I just wanted to show that scene. And anyway, let's go start us hunting. What is this? Alright, this is a healer. Ah, da, 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 da. No, go down, go down, go down. Ah, uh, there should be a star somewhere around here. It smells a little bit like wine. It's actually a barrel. No, it's not in there. I thought it was. Okay. Oh? Stardust! Okay, there it was. It just looked very similar, that's all. Okay, uh... No, 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 don't talk to me, please. Get your mother, please. Okay, let's go over here to the left side of the teleporter here. That takes forever to actually activate. Crazy, I know. Well, what are you going to do about it, you know? Uh, let's see, where's this? I'm a bit miffed. Never even heard that word. Miffed about giving our magic items to the barbaric humans. This is an order from the ancestor. Oh well. Yeah, oh well indeed. This is the weapon seller, so let's go check out his wares. He's got kind of kind of a lot of cool stuff. Uh, especially the magical ring. That's very useful. I'm going to buy one. Wait, oh uh, no, I, c I can't buy it because I don't have any money. Let's sell some shit then. I forgot I didn't have money. Uh, sell a healing fog, sell a healing breeze, sell a healing breeze. Ooh, man. Well, guys, I couldn't buy the magical ring. I really wanted to, but I couldn't. Makes me sad, but that's fine. Buy some rare stuff. Even if we are human, I admire your quality. Okay, let's go check out what's over here. On the left side of this location. Anyway, check this person out. It's. Uh, I almost call him Bardis. Guara! Meru, I knew it! Uh, Meru, I knew it. You are coming back to me. Ugh! You are humans! Ugh! So you are the friends of Meru. That's right. Meru? This is Gora, a friend of mine. You said I'm just your friend? You say I'm just a friend? Um, we grew up together? You are my fiance! I didn't know Meru had a fiance. Hmm, there is more to you than I thought, Meru. Wow! <laughs> what are you talking about? It's true, isn't it? I thought she was still a kid. Hmm, it must be true that the Wingdies have a long life and they are not as young as they look. What are you analyzing me for? I would have passionate sex with Meru. <laughs> okay, let's see, what kind of relationship do you have with Meru? The, uh... The sexual slutty kind. I'm just playing. Anyway, we'll see you guys next time. See y'all later.